Hey everybody, welcome to Scully Life. We got Eric Sugarman with us today uh, from New Jersey, one of the best senior high school soccer players in the country, on his way to Brown next year. Eric, thanks for joining me. Yeah, no problem. Glad to be here. You've been playing soccer your whole life. Did you play other sports growing up? Yeah, I, uh, I experimented with a bunch of sports, but soccer was always my favorite, so I've been playing that for a long time. Okay. At what age did you stop playing the other sports and just solely focus on soccer? Uh, sophomore year. I ran track. It was track and soccer, freshman and sophomore year, and then sophomore year I went and made to move to the academy level, and that's when I stopped uh, track. And at what age would you say you were playing soccer all year round? Uh, since like 7th or 8th grade, yeah. Okay. I was playing soccer all year round as my number one commitment. Okay, cool. Um, and you touched on the fact that you played high school soccer for a few years and, and as a last year just academy. Um, what were your thoughts on that? Were you disappointed you couldn't play on the high school team? Or do you feel like if you want to get better at soccer, that's what you have to do? Uh, I think it was both. I would have liked to play my senior year just because it was fun to play with my friends. And talk a little bit about your club experience. What club team did you play for? Uh, I moved around a lot. Uh, most recently, I was on TSF Academy, uh, which is a club out of uh, Lincoln Park, New Jersey. I was on them for two to three years. Then I moved to New York Cosmos, which is, uh, my, it was my first academy-level team. And uh, that was junior year. And this past year... and. Now, I'm on uh, the New York Red Bulls, which is uh, the highest level right now. Okay. And was there a, a big jump from club to academy for you? Yeah, definitely. It was the, the speed of play, the commitment, the coaching, it was all just, and the other teammates are just big jump. Okay. So, we mentioned that, obviously, you're going to Brown, which is an amazing school in the Ivy League, uh, one of the you know, top soccer programs in the Ivy League. How do you manage doing this academy soccer and club and, and training and, and all the stuff you've got to do off the field with, obviously, you're a tremendous student. How are you able to manage kind of your academics, the soccer, and you got to have somewhat of a social life, right? Yeah, it, it's hard, but uh, I don't get a lot of free time. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I've I've somehow managed to keep each of them in a uh, check and balance it all uh, but I mean academics come first a lot of the time even though I wish it was soccer but <laughs> uh, um, so let's just talk a little bit about your recruiting process um, at what age did you realize hey you know I'm on some pretty good teams I'm, I'm a starter I'm a pretty good player here I think I you know I definitely want to do this in college uh, well, Ever since I was a little kid, looking at my fifth grade yearbook, it uh, says what I wanted to be is uh, play soccer pro. And, okay. uh, I mean, that hasn't happened yet, but um, college is the next best thing in America. So uh, I, I've known for a while that I wanted to play college soccer uh, for a long time, and that's what I've been working for. And I'm working uh, a lot of work with the uh, talking with coaches and everything. And at, at what age did the college coaches start to recruit you? Uh, junior year early junior year, like as soon as they could, basically, the first, my first tournament. And um, so you were on their radar probably based off the team that you were playing on and kind of how you were doing on those teams? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, I went down to a showcase with the New York Cosmos in Florida, and uh, I, after the first game, I must have gotten 20 emails from 20 different colleges. Okay. And what was that experience like for you? Was that exciting? Were you nervous? Were you all of the above? First it was exciting, and then it was very overwhelming once I had to reply. <laughs> okay. And so take me kind of through that. So beginning of junior year, you got a lot of emails. What happened kind of through junior year with your recruiting process? Uh, well, it was very, like, uh, it was pretty complicated, actually, uh, there's a lot of, uh, I had to answer everyone to give them respect, even though I had never heard of their school or whatever. So I had to entertain a conversation to learn more about their school. And uh, that went on for a while until I started to narrow it down and start visiting the schools that I really were interested in. So 
overall would what would you have done differently looking back on it what would you have changed just in general about your recruiting process as far as you know visits or questions or you know what would you have done differently uh i think i would have been more patient uh i was like all i guess kids wanting to be recruited uh and everyone want, just wants to get it done to feel uh i'm in college like it's fine but uh I feel I'm pretty happy with my choice. I definitely could have been more patient, have more opportunities open up for me. Okay. And do you feel like the coaches were pressuring you to make a decision, or do you feel like it was more just like, oh, I want to commit early and just get this over with so I don't have to deal with it? Uh, it was more myself. I wanted to commit early just to get it done with. Uh, I didn't commit that early compared to some of my friends, but that was also another just uh, factor why I wanted to commit, commit all my Friends on my team were committing, and uh, they're all like, "Oh yeah, I'm in college already. I'm going here." And I wanted to be able to say that. So, okay, um, but you know, you're like a lot of the kids that we've interviewed. They've all said, um, "I wish I would have taken more time. I'm glad I didn't commit early. I'm glad I took my official visit." So it's interesting for me to hear that because I think there's a lot of pressure and anxiety for kids to commit. But once it's over with, almost all of them say. Yeah, I could have easily have taken more time, and I probably could have. Yeah, definitely. Now, let's talk a little bit about now. You're relaxed. You're going to college. Uh, you're almost done with senior year. What are you doing now to get ready for college, and, and what do you think, um, you know, how's the level going to be different, and, and what are you excited about? Uh, from what I've seen, uh, it's a lot faster pace and physical, which I'm excited for. I'm a, I'm a small guy, but uh, I like to get, like, physical, too, I guess. Uh, but academically, I'm taking a break, I'd say. Not a complete break, but uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break because I know I'm going to have to work really hard in Brown. And uh, I'm just I don't, just relaxing, enjoying, uh, enjoying it for now. Cool. Have you had a chance to talk with any of the guys in your recruiting class that are going to Brown with you? Yeah, there was uh, an admitted student stand. I got to meet two of them and one other kid on the team. And uh, they all seemed great, and um, made me more excited to go. Okay, awesome. All right, any advice in general just for kids out there that want to be you? There's so many soccer players in this country and around the world that would die to play soccer at Brown. If they're in 7th, 8th, ninth grade, what advice would you give to them? Uh, just work hard uh, when other kids aren't working hard and... Uh, be patient because uh, things will come if you work hard for them. Okay, great. Well, we really appreciate your time. Eric, wish you the best of luck. Um, hopefully, you know, Brown will work out well, maybe win an NCAA title, and then uh, we'll get to watch you as you turn pro. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, take care, bud. All right, thanks.